right? And I think the first step, you mentioned it before, is just just be aware of it. Mm-hmm. Like when you see it, like, okay, that is not reality. There's things going on there, technical things and extreme behaviors that I'm not aware of. Yeah. And so I would say the first step is to start curating your social media and stop following anyone that makes you feel insecure. Just unfollow them mm-hmm. and start following accounts that make you feel better. Yeah. Like my Instagram is full of uh, ocean animals. <laughs> I feel great yeah. looking at whales. <laughs> whales don't make you feel insecure. No, you know. and sea turtles? No. <laughs> yeah, they don't judge you. <laughs> and they're not trying to sell you anything. No, they're not. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, uh, you know, long story short, uh, you have to understand that we get so fixated on the number on the scale, but that doesn't tell you the whole story. Yeah, yeah. Wait. And there, there's actually some really great ways to pra- track progress. We're not saying never track anything, but there's some really awesome ways to track mm-hmm. your progress. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And just just to give you guys some context, right? So The Rock, Dwayne yeah. The Rock Johnson. Yeah. Right, big movie star, you know, biggest celebrity on the planet. Big hunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies love him. Guys want to be him. Be- that, the, beef the whole cake. Line. Yeah. Beef cake. <laughs> so he is technically obese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, according to the scale. According to the scale. He's according obese. According to BMI, if he went to his doctor. Yep. You know, do you think The Rock's doctor is saying, hey, man, you need to lose some weight? <laughs> it's like, okay, what, what weight is he going to lose? Right. Right. And the whole point of me telling you this is that the weight, weight does not tell the whole story. Half the time, you know, when you go in and your doctor is saying, oh, you need to lose some weight, you know, it's because they're just, they're probably a lazy doctor and they're just using the BMI scale to tell you what, what it is that you should weigh. Yes, the BMI is an outdated tool. Yeah. It's very frustrating yeah. when, when you get a doctor that's just going off BMI. Yeah, it's not realistic. Yeah. Half the time, be like, okay, doc, I need to lose some weight. What's your BMI? Ask your doctor next time, <laughs> right? I guarantee you, they don't, they, they're not in a healthy weight. And that's because the, the BMI it was actually created in the 1800s, yeah, and it's gone through a lot of different iterations. But basically, it still comes down to your height and your weight. Right. It doesn't take into account uh, lean body mass. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's just how tall are you? Right. How much do you weigh? And if you fall outside of the little, yeah, you know, green box that they want you to, and you start moving into the yellow, yeah. orange, red, oh. You're obese. Yeah, you're it doesn't obese. take into account your bone density, you know, yeah. or your yeah lean lean muscle mass. And, yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. taking activity level. Yeah, and <laughs> it's really a shame because your body, your body is at its healthiest mm-hmm. when it has an abundance of lean muscle and, yeah. and a strong cardiovascular system. Yeah. So did you ever stop to think why is it that this system that is so widely used, right, mm-hmm. BMI, why is why is that the standard when it doesn't even take those things into account? Because it's easy. Because it's easy. <laughs> Doctors are late, lazy. Yeah. And American healthcare. Oh, don't get me started. All right. Anyway. 